So I got another gig here tomorrow. Um, people from NHK, the Japanese Japanese national TV, are coming to film the Freedom. Uh, so I took it out of storage, and sure enough, it makes this horrible noise. So uh, let's forget what's wrong with it. Okay, obviously the clutch stripping here and none of the keys do work. But I just noticed the carriage clear is in. Let's try it. if we can release it manually. This will layer a little bit, but I don't think that's my problem. Nope, that's not it. Ooh, that is so sluggish. Alright, let's do a little bit of oiling here first. Finally, I uh, went and bought what I think is the right oil, a very light clock oil. Super, super, super light. And uh, it's called Nye Clock Oil. And it's the 140B, the super light, and I think that's what I need. I... Oh, look, look how sluggish that thing is. Okay. There you go. So it looks my carriage is stuck, and I can figure a way out to unstick it. There are those two things that keep it. Uh, uh, from moving out in the front, so you have to untighten the screw slightly and pull those out. There's a screw hidden underneath. I believe that's the one. Okay, kind of a painful one to remove. There you go. When that goes out, oh, there you go. Yes, and voila only three screws to remove easy once you know <laughs> okay so there's no more carriage let's see if it helps it complete its cycle not really it's stuck somewhere else what if I get those out here There you go. It's not stuck anymore. Yeah, so this guy was preventing it from uh, disengaging. All right. Uh, okay, at least it turns again. Um, okay, oh, look at that. That is super sluggish. Okay. I went over the machine looking at everything that was sluggish and uh, used a combination of uh, alcohol uh, to wash out the uh, or to thin out the uh, thicker oil that I had put before and finally used my uh, 140B oil. Okay. Let's see if it adds. It does. Let's see if it clears. Put that on. It will clear. Multiply. Clean it to a. Reset here. Reset there. Oh, that's not working. So it has something with it not detecting that it's at zero uh, when it's already there. I had to figure out what was triggering the start of the multiplication. It turns out it's this little guy over here. And by the way, I acquired this uh, great tool, uh, the hand crank. 
I can't remember where, I think it was eBay actually. So somebody made a run and then it's really helpful. So it screws right in and then you can do everything in slow motion. In particular, you can stop it mid cycle. You know, where, when things should be adjusted when they catch. Uh, so that's really a helpful tool. So I'm going to hand crank it in slow motion so you can see it. Uh, watch that guy over here. And this clears. And now, clack. That's the start of multiplication. Recognize it correctly. Now I can go through it. That's quite a few cranks. And okay, that will be near the end. Cluck. End of multiplication. So now that I, what I, that I found what uh, started the multiplication and wasn't working, at least wasn't working all the time, I had to find out what triggered it. And it's actually at the very end, at the other end of the machine. Uh, that's that mechanism over here. So it has to detect when the carriage is at home position. So it's moving, moving, moving. And the last spin will actually push that lever down and it goes on that pin. There you go. See that one right here? And press it down. Luckily, if you follow it through the machine, that's what eventually ends up on the other side and start the multiplication. Then I had to figure out how the two sides of the machine were linked together. And it's actually buried all the way in the middle of the machine. It's this big bar right here that's snaking through. It's going here, it's going there. If I go and press on the reset sensing um, Paul that I just demonstrated. You see how it moves? So, and of course the adjustment procedure is in the freaking manual at uh, whatever page that is, page 38. But uh, there is no way to know, it's called automatic clear disengaging slide and that means starts of multiplication. So how would you know that? And then there are three diagrams and they are completely opposite parts uh, of, of the machine, op opposite uh, no places in the machine. This is on the left side. Uh, this is all the way at the back of the machine, totally opposite to this. And this is way in the middle, and that's the bar, but it's seen on the side, so it's totally inc incomprehensible until I figured it out. Uh, but so once you do, they actually tell you that there are two possible adjustments. There's a fine adjustment uh, which consists in bending the lip and there's a coarse adjustment which consists in bending the bar and so once you know you're allowed to bend it uh, it makes some sense here's that thing and if you bend it up uh, you know it will push further down when this one uh, happens to push on it uh, the problem with it is that I'm pretty much already maxed out and if I push it too far up no, this won't go in it. It will. It will uh, bind, and so I kind of ran out of uh, adjustment on that side. So the final adjustment I had to make was actually on the bar itself. And what you have to do is twist it here, so you lift that part after the bend. You give it a pretty good bend, uh, but that brought that bar about horizontal, and now. Uh, it pushes the lever enough so that it can start the multiplication. So, yay! Now it multiplies correctly. And it resets. Alright, so my machine is in good company here. We are in the Computer History Museum Gallery with all the other mechanical calculators. And actually, here is a the one behind the glass. This one is a square root machine. There are very few of those. Uh, but hopefully the camera crew will be here in a few hours and we can 
start shooting with the real machine that works. アメリカ。機械式の計算機です。その中は何千もの部品がびっしり。歯車を回転させて機械的に計算を行います。当時の計算機を。コレクターの方に動かしてもらいました。例えば掛け算。12×300、12は3744。確かに合っています。では、どのように計算しているのでしょうか。この計算機では、1の位、10の位、100の位を分割して行います。最初は、312の1の位、2をかけます。12×2は24。そして、10の位、12×10は120。24を足して140。さらに100の位。12×300は3600。すべてを足して合計3744となるのです。この計算機で掛け算や割り算をすると 2、3秒はかかります。それでも人間が手で計算するより遥かに早かったんです。PC 現在のパソコンなら10億分の1秒で終わりますけどね。計算機でできるのは規則演算です。キャサリンさんはこの計算機を使いこなして複雑な計算も